All right, YouTube, we just got worked, so we're going to try one more here with this deck before we switch over there. Yeah, I, I I don't I think I recognize his moto name. Yeah. So what I want to know was. I don't know if Teddy is still in this chat. Let me see. Teddy is not in the chat. But I was playing against Death and Taxes earlier. Yeah, that's what I thought it was. I, I know I played against him before. Um, I was playing. I was talking to. Uh, I was playing against Death and Taxes earlier, and one of the guys in my chat said that we're actually supposed to mulligan to a Dread of Night, and I that that like seemed a little confusing to me. Yeah, I think so. And I, I don't think you necessarily need to mulligan to cards in Legacy when you have such good cantrips, or is, is that just, like, not... Is that is that wrong to do? Or is it, like, still that important? Yeah, that's what I thought. Like, I had a poor 7, but a very good 6 that just did pan out. He was like, dude, you got a mull. And I'm like, I don't think that's right, Teddy. All right, let's see if we can turn it around here. All right, I would like to play first. I would like to mulligan. I'm going to keep this hand. Though starting on the wasteland is a little awkward, but we can at least scry into a land here. I think I want that one. Go a scry. Yeah, this is a good hand. If we hit a land here, we're in pretty good shape. I guess that kind of makes sense. Like, what does it accomplish on turn one? Man. We'll go with it. I can't exactly. If I had three wastelands in my hand and I put a wasteland on the bottom and then I drew a wasteland, I could complain about the shuffler. They play a basic two. So I should just force this, right? Just to like maybe put the fear of God into him. Because it's either like I force this, he doesn't turn one me, I draw a land to thought sees. Or Yeah, I think I think I'm like my gut tells me to force this. Cause like there's like maybe they're like I've got another one. They don't go for it. Cause it is kind of an aggressive force. So like if I had two, I would probably let if I had two plus another blue card, I'd let it resolve. So like it's not good either way. Dude, just absolutely no fear. All right. Force looting her in tomb. Hmm. Just because they're enablers, that makes sense. So I think we've actually got some good cards here. I don't know if this one's any good. Like, I know that these come out. 
Though I played against a Black Red Reanimator deck last night that had Crypt Breaker. I can just go like similar to what I did last time. They have less ways to get it into the graveyard in more ways. That makes sense. Yeah, well, I played against the version that had Crypt Breaker, and I wasn't fast enough, and I actually had the Thought Seize the Crypt Breaker. Ugh. I'm, like, almost tempted to keep this. Because it's got to reanimate to deal with one of their things. Like, I want to take a picture of this. I think I'm going to mulligan. But I do think this hand is interesting. Like, I think the, like, adult thing to do is mulligan. It, it doesn't, you don't die, right? I mean, it does plenty if we, we have to hit a land, though. I mean, I'm, I'm going to mulligan, but I think it's interesting. I guess I'll keep this one. I guess we do want this. Mm-hmm. There's a double Chancellor. Let me, take a, let me check that out. They just don't have a land. So they're just going to discard. So this is where I just cast my Delver. And then it gets both of them out of the way. Yeah. I could stub that, but I bet they have a land. All right, well, we're going to stub this. They could just have land reanimate also. But if they had done that, they would have kept the pedal to play around days. What a, what a weird one. All right, come on, baby. Oh, baby. And we hit a surgical? Holy shit. Give me some of that. You have a new picture. Remember to play fetch, yes. Would have done that. Hang on, I'm just tweeting out my first picture.
I ended up molding. All right, then we're just going to keep it the same way it was. Well, that was cool, at least. Yeah, I think this is a keep as well. It's like, deal with the first piece, knock out the second piece. Take my thoughts, he's okay. So we go get Watery Grave and Ponder probably on turn one. Jeez, that was a really good rip. That's a good one to have them not know that we have. So I definitely think that I want this Daze. Yeah, but I think I want this Daze, but I'm not really sure if I want any of the other cards. I think I'm going to want the Stubborn Denial over the Diabolic Edict. So I think I'm going to go like this. Not going to shuffle. And we're going to pass and look to Brainstorm next turn. Yeah, I think I would like to not Edict the Creature if I can get away with it. They must have mulliganed quite a bit to start. They mulled a five, yeah, that's that's tough. So I actually think I'm just gonna waste them and sit. Yeah. Just like waste and hold up. Yeah. And then we can we can shuffle away this edict next turn. Okay, we probably don't need the second stub or this edict. And then we'll just play this. Now I could go Fetch Shock Shadow, Fetch Shock Surgical Shadow. That seems kind of aggressive for where we are. Like, I find it very difficult for my opponent to win. So I think we're just going to wait. That makes sense. Oh, you're just playing, just playing slower. Yeah, it's an ad. Yeah, exactly. I don't even really want to cast my brainstorm. No. What do you got, bud? I kind of just want to take this collective brutality. I guess the looting lets him see more cards. I could also take the brutality, and then I could surgical this looting, which 
like might be aggressive, but we also just have so many resources that I'm not really sure that it matters. And if I surgical, it just like makes my shadow bigger. So I think I'm just gonna take a brutality. I think this is aggressive, but we have enough resources here to like clearly win the game and our surgical is also taking a card away. It's surgical brutality, if anything. I guess the looting does get worse the less cards you have, and they have to crack their pedal. So I think that's what I'm going to do. That makes sense. Yeah. So I hit an exhume. So let's take this. And this. And then let's just see what else they have, just for... So they drew an exhume, which doesn't do anything. Okay. And now our stubs are turned on also. Again, I don't even really want to cast my brainstorm. I guess I could have turned the clock up there. That was dumb. Well, fetch lock to eight still makes it a three turn clock. Is that what he had? I didn't even see that. The old one of? I guess you can entomb for it, so it's not that bad. I guess if I would have gone Fetch Shock, Day something, Shock again, it would have been a two turn clock. I think we're just going to like. I guess it's always nice to play the fetch land if we need it. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, I mean, like, we're at the point where we can't take it home with us, right? Oh man, my current my opponent is currently four and zero. Oh. That sucks for my opponent. Yeah, this hand's very good. What am I looking for? So if I ponder on turn one, what do I want? If I ponder on turn one, I want to. I think I'm just going to like play land pass. Because I don't really know what I want with this hand. I guess like Street Wraith. Yeah, that, that's what I was looking for. Oh, if we're playing a blue mirror, I'm going to get worked. I always get beaten these blue mirrors. And it's just not even because like... I think I just stub this, because they're just going to take my Death Shadow. Now if they play a Lotus Petal, do I daze it? All right, so now we're going to do what y'all say I should do. Not fetch before I ponder. I don't think I want these. And 
So now I might as well just ponder again, looking for like force or days. Then I can brainstorm next turn if I need to. Yeah, so let's do it like this. Looks like reanimator. There's actually a lot of X. Do we draw Wraith? Oh, wow, they have one land. I was worried about like one day is not being enough. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So I can just go like this. Cycle. I don't really want to fetch, but I do want to play my fetch land. I'm going to play shadow, play angler. Yeah. Oh, I guess, the, yeah, that's like the mind level thing that I don't know. So what are they doing? They're cleaning up. So they just have ponder. So they're like storm. So let's do this because we don't want, I guess we might even want all three of these dazes. We certainly don't want all four dazes. So let's just get rid of these. Go get watery grave. Nine. Yes, yeah, so we don't even have to daze our. Sh we don't need to like push through any more damage. You gotta kill me next turn through triple, triple daze, buddy. Yeah, I mean this is gonna be tough for them to pull pull ahead from. Guys, we officially beat the shit out of our opponent that got stuck on lands. Let's scoop it up. So I think they're playing Storm. So let's just sideboard like they're Storm. The question is, are they Ad Nauseam or Tez? Because I do think it kind of matters. Like, Because like if they're Ad Nauseam, then I kind of want like all of these. And if they're like, because I want to cut these. Because like if they're Tez, I think I'd like to go like that. And if they're Ant, I think I want to go like this. Because Surgical is better against Ant. But I guess like the first, like Gurmag Angler is not even that good. Bring an E, don't board in Bomb. But isn't Bomb good against like the, like isn't it marginal at least? So I could go like this. That's 61 cards. I can't count. I thought it's not about push, push. I feel like Angler's not great. No one and two surgical is good enough for Ant and Tez. All right. I'll, I'll, I'll buy it. Orbix's control. I feel like if it was a Grixis control deck, they would not have fetched a swamp. This hand's nice. I think reanimates like a faster clock at least than Gurmag Angler. I don't I could be wrong though. I think I'm just gonna play the Delver. And then look to like brainstorm plus Thoughtseize next turn. 
I could I could thought season this turn, but I don't think they're gonna be able to kill me through days four surgical and then days four and surgical. Like that seems like a faster clock at least than Gert. Like I I I would be okay with boarding out all of my Gurmag anglers to be honest. Today's all right. Let's attack first because we're going to do that regardless. I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna brainstorm. Okay, so I don't think we need this Delver. I almost don't even think I need this brainstorm. Like I think we've just got enough to win anyways. Or maybe I definitely don't need the Delver. I'm gonna shuffle the go like this and then cast Dossies. Though the Delver was another pitch to force. Yeah. So you're gonna brainstorm me here? Or are you gonna brainstorm? Fluster storm. So this would make me think we're playing against a fair deck. Okay. It is just like that good of a card. Ant does? Okay. I didn't know if Ant did that or not. Okay. I think this is okay. Wall therapy. Okay. They'll probably name force. So maybe that's why I'm supposed to hit this dark ritual first, because like it sets up cabal therapy turns. Uh, thanks, ARK411. Appreciate the host. For everyone coming over, my name is Dylan Hubby. I am a bit of a new legacy player. I don't play it that often, but I, I play Death Shadow and Modern, so it's kind of an easy port. I am not an experienced legacy player, so if, you, if you're watching, you're probably going to see some learning here. Yeah, I appreciate you for uh, coming over, Mr. Jedi. I used to watch a lot of your stream back in the day when you used to play Pile Mirrors. Like when Pile was really big and Pile was all over Moto. That seems like so, it was very entertaining to watch, but very, it looked miserable to play against. They just pass. Okay. I don't really know. I guess I'll bring this in for. Uh, so. I 
They luckily have add on. That's what that means. Yeah, I mean, that deck looked fun to play. Or those mirrors looked like. Uh, I mean, excuse me. The mirrors look awful to play. But fun. Um, they were very entertaining to watch. I think I'm just holding again. Though I guess I could have just, like, I mean, kind of going willy-nilly with a surgical doesn't feel great. So I could just... I think I'm going to let this one go. And I'm going to... Because I would like to daze anything because it just might mean to play my Death Shadow next turn. Because it just lets me pick up a land and shock myself. So, funny thing. I have a funny surgical story. I guess, like, my bad beat with surgical was my... When I was at the... Um, we, I, I made top eight of SCG Philly. And my teammate was playing at Ozium. He was playing its lands. And um, we know the list. So we know the lands player only has one surgical. So I think I want to daze this purely because it lets me untap and play Shadow. And then I'm, I think I'm okay surgicaling this as well. So let me go like this. Return here. Um, so we're playing. So I should do this as soon as I get priority. Okay, so they have ad nauseum, so that's a good call. So his land's opponent only has one um, surgical in his sideboard. So like. Delray starts kind of slow. Um, the lands player gets like turn one sphere into like turn two chalice. So Delray kind of sits there and he's, he's thinking. And he ends up, um, Hercules recalling all of his, um, all of his lands, all of his lock pieces. He untaps for turn and he draws tendrils. Okay. So he sits there for a while and thinks. And I and like Delray played very well throughout the entire event. So like I'll leave it up to him. But he determined, so do I want to brainstorm? Wait one second. So he determined that there's no way that he could beat Surgical. And he wanted to go off before the guy could replay all of his lock pieces. So Delray went for it, and when he cracked his LED, he got surgical. And it just like just killed him. Delray was just like, oh my god. Like the guy, and it only worked because he drew the tendrils that turn. Like if the tendrils was still in his deck, he said he knew how to play around tendrils because that was the only card that mattered. And it just was, I was just like, oh, hurt so bad. He had boarded out his Empty the Warrens because of um because of Tabernacle. Oh, so that's probably pretty solid. So what do they have again? They have Cabal Ritual, Lion's Eye Diamond. So I probably just put like this back. This back. And I still think I just shock myself and play Shadow. Like we can still daze. If, even if they draw a Thought Seize for my Force of Will, we can still daze uh, whatever they do. But it was like such a bad beat for like when that happened. I was just like, oh my god, because Del started counting like like he was getting ready to go. And the guy just like he goes like Infernal Tutor and he responds and just surgicals his his spells. So surgicaled his uh, wing condition. So I think we let this one go. Because he needs one more. So now we knew what they drew. So we let this one go. He plays Lion's Eye Diamond. We, we force pitch days because that turns on Stubborn Denial.
And then we can, like, EE away this Lion's Eye Diamond just to, like, make sure they don't have a draw. If I put my cards back right. Don't EE the LED. Okay. Doesn't that cut off his draws, though? Right? I mean, isn't there, like, nothing he can do? Like, what can he do next turn? He can't brainstorm into anything. He theoretically could draw, like... I guess it doesn't matter if he draws whatever it is, Dark Petition. We still can I guess, like, we might as well just hold up Stubborn Denial because it's a one-turn clock. This deck is almost impossible to beat. Yeah, because like we literally just stub the first thing that he does. Todd Anderson did call this the best legacy deck he's ever seen on a podcast. I think he was being like slightly facetious, facetious, but and my opponent's definitely like slightly salting off. I think if I if I learn to navigate blue mirrors, I think I can. I think I can play this deck, but the blue mirrors are just so hard, and it's not even like. Um, and it's not even like I think I'm on the wrong side of variance. With all these, like, um, I just get beat down. God, I hope my opponent doesn't ask me to split. Hang on. So I'm just gonna say like I'm not 4-0, but I'm like I'm currently streaming. I would not like to talk splits. What does it gain? Um, could I let him go to one? Of course, they're gonna ask for a split. Yeah. Yeah, basically. This, and you also get the synergy of being able to shock yourself. Well, my opponent was cool. Look at that. We're 2-0 oh in this one. Yeah, so I think that... Like, this deck feels very, very good. And, like, I'm not very good with it. And, like, for example, my first league I played with that went 3-2. and two, And I felt like the two losses were my fault. Like, I think I should have played played differently against Red Black Reanimator, and um, and I lost to like Ant again, and, and I think I made misplays in both of them. If I can ever figure out how to like slightly brainstorm, then like I probably could handle this deck. Put too much value on the stupid, yeah. I just didn't want it because like I don't even know if you're supposed to talk about that. I remember they had like a big thing where wizards talked about it, and um, I was just like, I don't know how that's supposed to work, and I don't really want to find out. I would rather just play magic. It's legal if you're both 4L. Also, you're playing versus your right. Oh, nice. All right, we're going to do mulligan this. We have two free spells. But this one's not free because we know the swamp.
I think I'm going to keep this. I think I'm going to put this on top because it enables a quick shadow or helps enable it. And it's probably better, like, yeah. So I figured it was either great or dead versus, like, half the format. The only problem is that I have to go fetch shock and my brainstorm next turn sucks. Or I theoretically could just get wasted. Just snuffing out a mom. I guess I can also just brainstorm on their turn if I want to, if I need to. So I think this is worth trying to hit a daze. But I guess I can waste them. I kind of want to, like, hit a spell. Because I want to wasteland this wasteland next turn. So I kind of, I don't think I'm going to have enough mana to go, like, interact with this on their turn. Wasteland and maybe play Shadow. Well, that's, that's very unlikely anyways. I think I'm going to try here. Yeah, I'm going to try this. No. We can play a shadow next turn. We can play two shadows next turn. So I probably want to put this force of will underneath. And then put this wasteland here. Playing two shadows is so sketchy, though, because of whatever it is. Um... Plow. So maybe I want the force. So maybe I want the force to try to like put like this back. Put no. Hang on. Put this back. Put this back. Draw the wasteland. Cycle my street race. After I fetch. Try to find a blue card. If I find a blue card, play both shadows. I think that's my plan. Because I would like to put a lot of pressure on this Stoneforge Mystic. Because if it gets a Batter Skull or a Jit, that's kind of annoying. But also, if I put a lot of pressure in them, then I'm just going to get wrecked by Plow. Yeah. I just want to play two shadows and have Force of Will blue card. That's the plan, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. The guy still hasn't responded to me. He probably thinks it like I'm a stalker. Maybe, especially considering I don't have another way to deal damage to myself. Blue card. The best blue card to hit, too. I messaged him on Facebook, okay. They just scoop it up. I feel like winning game one here is big. That is big time. So again, I don't really know how to cyborg against this deck. Because like, so for example, like cards that I don't, cards I want. I want this. I want this. I know I want these. And I saw Josh Otter Layton, like this card is like kind of medium. And I know I saw Josh Otter Layton board this in in the finals. So I, I like, I, 
I don't really want force either. I guess not. Especially considering they can just play their dude. And um, they can just play their guy. Like, they can just play Batter Skull Block and gain a million lives and, like, basically get a turn. So these stubs don't seem great. You cut a Ponder and a Preordain. First Thalia. Generally shade some cantrips versus Thalia decks. I guess that makes sense. So are you saying that you, like, you leave your dazes in? So like if these come out here... Then maybe like one more comes out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, sixteen, eighteen. 10, 11, 12, 16, 18. I only have 22 spells. Dread of Night, big time, yeah. You keep four dazes. All right, let's see. Let's just try this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go with it. Your advice has not been horrible the entire time I've, you've been in here, so I'm gonna try this. Yeah, we have three dreaded knights, which is pretty, which is pretty gas. Well, so you say, like, reanimate's not great against Swords of Plowshare deck, but isn't it a way to get your shadows back, like, get you light total back down? I think I keep this. This hand's pretty good. It's a little slow. So do I just go EE on one? Not gonna lie, I kinda just wanna play my EE on one here. So you can steal their shit. Yeah, I think I'm gonna just play EE on one. And it might not be right fetching. It probably wasn't good to fetch. Because especially, I mean, I didn't want them to waste my underground C. Because if the game goes long, I want my C in play, I think. You can snuff Revoker and then EE. Yeah, that's sweet. This deck is sweet. This deck is sweet. As you have explosives just like surprises me every single time I play it. Um Yeah, that's what I think. Yeah, I mean they're gonna they're gonna wasteland this watery grave anyways, right? We were on the mana denial plan. So I probably should blow this underground sea in their upkeep. Or blow this and EE in their upkeep, or if they activate this.
Okay, so Stoneforge Mystic is nice. So let's let them do this. And then I'm going to go EE, -E, blow this up, snuff out this. He would respond because of Revoker. Even with the snuff out? Or you just make it so like... So I thought the, like, I thought the snuff out kind of had me covered, but like I could be wrong. Blow this up. I mean, with this scenario, it doesn't matter, but we give them time. Okay. You want to hold? Well, they get yeah, they got batter's call, right? Yeah. But I want to not let them play. Okay, so there's another Mystic. So now I just kind of want to push, play, play Delver, play Shadow. Yeah, so I think we're just going to triple spell here. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking here. Nope. And then, like, they either plow now and get dazed, or they have to, like, untap and, and then do it and, like lose, like, lose a mana. Two of their five cards are equipment. And their, their deck's probably pretty susceptible to, like, Lily out of the last hope without a vial. So they played around that, which is good. Yep. But now we're looking like we're going to play this Liliana on an open board. Which is should be pretty solid. Wow. I kind of want to wait to just try to hit something with this Liliana. You would play Lily. I think I would rather play Angler. Because, like, if he plays Phyrexian Revoker, he's probably not going to play Revoker. Because, like, he's going to start casting creatures, right? He has to cast creatures before he can play his equipment. So I kind of want to play my Gurmag Angler because I want him to begin to cast creatures so that I can at least get a creature with Liliana before he gets to um, get a creature with Liliana before he, like, revokers it. Oh, okay, the port changes it. Okay, I didn't think about that. Yeah, and see, that's just, I'm new. The port changes it. Yeah. No, that makes sense. I, I was, so like, so like, would you all have played the Gurmag Angler before the, um, before the Liliana if this was a basic planes? Yeah. So this is a basic planes. Is it right to do what I said? Mm-hmm. Yes? Okay. So at least my thought process was right. I'm, I've just, like, missed what was on board. I 
Okay. So I guess these dazes are actually pretty sweet. Because, like, it does look like they're just, like, using their mana the entire game. No, that makes sense. Like, it's the mana denial deck. Mana denial deck. No, that actually, like, it is it is very unintuitive. Because you think, like, they have so much mana. They're a mana denial deck. I'm going to get my slippers. I'll be right back. Okay, so he gets the jet. And now it's kind of sweet because we, we get to hit the creature with the daze. Oh, Ancient Tomb. Whoa. That's pretty cool. That Ancient Tomb is pretty sweet. How much do I tap here? I'm going to go like this. Make him think. Maybe this might make him think about Snapcaster Mage. I don't know. It's N. Voldson's list. Yeah, I don't know who that is. You would just tap out. Oh, because he's going to just tap me out, but he didn't there. I guess he didn't want to take the two damage. Plays one tomb. So if he just jams his batter skull, he does get dazed. That was a good one. So that vial's annoying. So I think I want to draw this Diabolic Edict and then put the Wasteland on underneath it because what's my opponent going to do? They can play a little. They can play like... I don't know what they can do, actually. Like, I think I'm going to get them, but I kind of just want to go... I want to have the Edict. So I think I want to go like this. We should be able to daze this batter skull if it comes down. So we should be good. You'd shuffle that. I can't minus Lily, but it doesn't. I can't play Shadow. I guess maybe I'm too all in on thinking that I can ultimate this. Well, yes, but shouldn't we be able to like deal with that, right? Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking like just edict next turn, wasteland them in order to just, like, make it so they can't do, like, multiple things in one turn. Like, I ideally want them to be able to play this Batter Skull, like, this turn, or do nothing. Because I would like to be able to daze them. I don't think that he can do it. Like, if we get to untap here, I'm not really sure what... Or my opponent can do. The question is, which land should I hit? Probably the Ancient Tomb. Probably maybe the Caracas. I 
you can have a creature and then buy onto it. Yeah, they can do that and Antifa Lockhart, but I'm fairly certain that like our Liliana will probably be able to answer one of those two creatures. It depends on the order, I guess, that they do it. Okay. So we're punished for not doing this the other way. So we let this go. They exile this. We get it back. So I think we just go like up on this and then waste I kind of want to waste the Caracas. I don't know, like, I tend to think, like, without double white source, we, the, the, it's going to be very difficult for them to, like, overload this Liliana. I don't know if that's... I don't know if that's right to do or not, but it's, it's like, what my gut tells me to do. This totally could be wrong, but I just, I just don't I don't think the difference between three and four mana is as important as one and two white sources. I can't really tell you why I think that, but that's just like what I think. The vial is annoying, yeah. So we are drawing a dud. Like this Death Shadow is basically a complete dud right now. The nice thing is that a card that could be like very annoying is something like a Thalia. Without the Caracas, the Thalia is gonna be like easier to deal with. No, I don't have any creatures in the graveyard. You like that? Okay, that feels nice. What actually sucks here, if this is a Thalion, they get to connect because of that. So I guess Thalia kind of gets us good no matter what. Yeah. So now they get counters on the jet. Yeah. So is he going for the batter skull? No, he just gets on the jet. Okay. So I can still just plus on this Thalia. Because my opponent only has two lands. Or my, I can still just plus on the Thalia, because even if they pump it with Jet, it still dies. So now we're finally seeing a new card, which is nice. Alright, so let's... What are they doing here? So what can they put in for a 2-drop that punishes us? I think I'm just going to Edict them. The only two drop they have that can get us here is Revoker. Revoker gets us really good. Sarah Avenger's really bad. I actually think we just let this go. Try to kill this. Let's see what happens here. This doesn't do anything. Because, like, it, it stay base effects check next turn.
and like the Thalia dies. Yeah. So even if he puts in another creature here. Oh, they said whoops. Yeah. So now they can play around double days. Or they can play around one days, not double days. And then we just pick up the water grave. God, the turn 11 days, even though we had to use two of them. And now we need to, like, brainstorm freely. Do another shadow. So let's, let's start here. We can clear the brainstorm with our Liliana. Oh, okay. So we'll probably go ditch here. Ditch this. Play land. Play Dread of Night. So I guess now we're just worried about Palace Jailer. Like, Palace Jailer is kind of an issue. So if I don't... Actually, so a mistake that I might have made here. I don't remember what I put on top of my deck. Because, like, if it's two fetch lands, then I could just wait and play two Death Shadows. And then even if they plow one, I can get one back with Liliana. I don't remember what order I put them back in. I do think they were two lands. I either put the Water Grave in the Fetch Land or another Fetch Land back. I think either way, whatever, a new draw step is fine. Okay. That's not bad because I can still edict whatever they do. I guess I shouldn't have fetched because like a land makes it so that I can edict through Thalia. So that's good to think about. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. Oh, so now this isn't legendary. These, so we can just go like this. So now they need, like, I think I, I guess they can play Sarah Avenger, right? Now I can kill Mirror and Crusader. It's like we get Mirror and Crusader, Palace Jailer now. <laughs> you got it, dude. <laughs> they just drew all their moms. Oh, man. They just drew moms right in a row. That sucks. Tell him I said to go get the body back. I'm not going to say that to someone I don't know. Okay. So, hang on one second, everybody. I'm going to restart Moto here. So, I appreciate everybody for showing up and hanging out today. Uh, my name is Dylan Hubby. I'm part of the Card Hoarder Network. Um, if you guys like what you see, please hit the follow button. Uh, if you're on YouTube, please hit the like or subscribe button. And if you're on YouTube or Twitch, then head over to the other one and do that as well. Um, I always archive all of my streams on YouTube, so you can always check them out there. This stream is brought to you by Card Hoarder. That's where all these cards are from. Um, Card Hoarder is just a great Magic Online chain. If you need anything, you should use them. Um, what was I going to say? Um, I'm sponsored by a store called Gamer Craze, which is in upstate New York. 
they that's where I learned to play magic. It's just a great store that has um that fosters like a college environment because there's a lot of colleges right there. So they have pretty competitive prices for singles. So you should check them out. Caroline Zach is a bad man. <laughs> for your schedule, what time do I'm gonna run? Yeah, I guess I'm in Washington, DC. I usually stream every at least every Wednesday night and every Sunday morning. My wife is currently gone. Um, she's up in Vermont visiting family. So I've been able to stream like nearly almost every day for the past like week. So look at that. We catch the league, which is nice. So I have never like, and this might be just because like, I don't know the value of this deck, but every single time I watch Death and Taxes in action, it always looks, it kind of always looks very anemic to me. And that could just be because, like, I don't understand it, but, like, it just seems like a pile of white cards is so underwhelming with the things that are going on here, you know? I appreciate all the follows that have happened as well. Um, I, tend to, I tend to have a tough time keeping up with all of them. Because I turned down the, uh, I just hate every single deck that you like, Archmage. I turned down the volume because it messes with my uh, YouTube videos when the alerts come up. It just sounds weird on YouTube, and I, I'm not like good enough to figure out how to fix that. How's your vacation going, Archmage? Come on, it's taking so long. It does take longer to get these to go here. I'm determined that I'm incapable of vacation. Well, everybody's bad at something, you know? Man, if we five out of this league, that's going to be gas. We five out of this league, I might have to stream another Legacy one before I switch to Modern. Oh, my opponent's very nice. So I'm not going to lie. I have... I'm going to keep this hand. This hand's pretty good. I've never had more... I've never had more, like, I don't know how to say this. I've never had, like, worse experiences. So, like, my favorite play experiences have always been from playing Legacy. Like, I just, like, all the people are very nice, you know. But I've had some time, so what is going on here? I've had some times where also, like, my worst play experiences have been playing Legacy. Like, the people are just mean. That's just what I've, what I've seen. So I daze this Aether Vial. Kind of plays in the Wasteland, but that also sets them behind. Brightling has Vigilance in the room. Brightling gains like Return Brightling to its owner's hand. I kind of want to take this Brightling. What do you mean glad means chalice? I think I'm going to take this Brightling. I think I can deal. Like, this Revoker doesn't really do too, too much, I don't think. It does name Street Wraith. But I think I'm just going to get the Brightling out of here. And then if they want to waste me, they can waste me. If they play Vile, then I'll just daze it. Okay. So I can play a Death Shadow, which I'm kind of all about. Yeah, so I'm going to play Death Shadow, Daze anything, then go Shockland, um, Dot Seize next turn. Do another Wasteland. So that changes things.
We're in hard mode now, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Okay, so like million dollar question. I'm probably forcing this, pitching this to Elmer. I think. And I could be told that was wrong and would understand it. In my experience, some of these players believe that because they have been playing longer, they automatically know better than you. And of course, this could be the case, but they also just happen to have access to legacy cards for longer. Yeah. So we're just going to like... Dude, we're slowly growing our death shadow here. Every time we force a will, the clock just ticks up. I don't think I'm going to force this provoker. Does that even matter? I don't think that matters. I think it's just too slow to really be that good. But if I force the first one, shouldn't I force the second one? Because, like, the revoker doesn't matter. I guess I'm worried about a path, or worried about a plow, so I guess I'm just not forcing this. What I need is a land here. Yeah, that's what I, that's what I, I got there, it just took me a second. Well, now I can get a little more liberal with my forces. The Mirror and Crusaders matter. Yeah, that's pretty lucky. They named Street Wraith. Okay. So I don't know any cards left from my opponent's hand. Land? So unlucky. So we might not be able to attack next turn. Yeah. There's only, there's not a lot of them. Stupid Revoker. So now I'm just running my Death Shadow into a two drop. Let's do it. Add a two drop. Okay, so this does mean that we get rid of two of these. Unless they chunk. All right, here comes the land. Well, at least we have another threat. Yeah, I was very much like, I'm not really sure what we're beating here, so I'm just going to attack. Come on, baby. Come on. I think if we draw a land, we're going to win this game going away. I feel like our land draws have been counter to each other. Okay, um, I think I'm going to ditch my thought seize. I doubt this thought seize. Well, this thought seize is, I'm gonna have, not going to have time to cast it because I, I need two lands theoretically. I just recently bought DNT. Just double stone rating your opponents, what gets you going? I mean, sometimes getting wastelanded, wastelanding. I mean, I, I respect the wasteland there. 
I think you should now understand why not by forcing the second vial. You should understand now why forcing the second vial was the correct move. Vials always matter. I'm not sure I believe that, Nikos. So what are we ditching now? Probably ponder. Give me a land. That could be a land. Oh, it's a land. All right, here we go. Let's get our underground sea. And now let's cast this Gurmag Angler. We're in a lot of trouble to, like, it doesn't really matter what we do here. We're in a lot of trouble to something like a um, Flicker Wisp, I think. I guess Flicker Wisp isn't even that bad. Another thing here is now that we have lands, like a plow isn't even the end of the world. Bring it home, fishy boy. So if this is a Flicker Wisp, it's a Mirror and Crusader. Holy shit. I just don't have any outs to that, right? I can, I can play Delver and block next turn. But then I can't force anything. Oh my god. Now, yeah, now I'm in trouble. I'm going to not play Trigger Bay, Snow Covered Plains, Split. All right, you got it, dude. I'm totally forcing something. Just going to say, if, I, if it comes between me or Diane, I'm going to force a will something, for sure. Oh, too bad we can't play the fish. All right, let's get in here. I thought it does only have two cards, so like maybe. Holy shit. I'm like flabber. I am absolutely flabbergasted here. So we can't force this. This goes and gets recruiter of the guard. I think, but we'll make sure. He's not going to be able to flicker our blocker. Oh, I can't even pay the life. Sad. I can't even sn snuff out. It's not even a legal play. Forcible. <laughs> yeah, flicker was his good night, Irene. So we want this. I gotta remember, I can't even remember how I signed one last time. We cut our forces. We cut one reanimate. We cut ponder, preordain, and two stubs. If I remember right. That was one of the more odd games of Magic I've played in a while. Just flipping around. Going to a PTQ this weekend. I am not going to get got by any stupid Vengevine deck.
Yeah, I don't know. This is just how I sideboarded last round, and it, it seemed okay. I still have one. Oh, jeez. Um, I think I'm going to keep this. I'm just going to ponder on one. Yo, man, they mulligan to six, and they're about to get hemmed. I'm going to play uh, Death Shadow. I'm going to stream Death Shadow after I'm done streaming Legacy. I'm going to stream Modern. Those are all great. I do think I want to shuffle away this angler. So let's go like this, this. Oh, I should have done it. I should have done it the other way just in case they have a discard effect. Like there's no reason not to. Nothing personal. Yeah, that makes sense. So I think I'm just going to hem them. So that I can brainstorm Dreaded Knight next turn and just get a new look at some cards. Okay. You'd have pondered for days of removal. Makes sense. I, I think maybe I just jumped the gun and I just wanted to like daze my opponent that had mulliganed. Or two for one my opponent that's mulliganed. So now if I find a fetch land, I can play I can go like brainstorm, fetch land, dread of night, which I'm kind of in the in the mood for. We didn't, but we brainstorm locked ourselves. I still think I'm just gonna go wasteland dread of night. Hey, Tannen, how's it going? Oh, I could have played Angler. I was just zoning out. I didn't do my math right. And now we'll just play Angler this time. So I know my bottom two... I know two car, the one card underneath. Is the mana going to matter? No, I think I'm just going to go... Like Wasteland Gurmag Angler, anyways. Gonna need to throw creatures to jet. Okay, that makes sense. Like actually getting a, another card out of the Dreaded Knight would be good. All right, so let's get in here. I was excited there was no Stoneforge Mystic that came down. God, this snuff out so sweet. I'm not going to lie. Like, I kind of feel like I'm playing, like, even though we got smoked in our earlier league, I think that I made a lot of mistakes. And I, I do kind of feel like my deck is better than my opponent. Like, I'm not a very good Legacy player. I don't play it very much. Yeah, always nice. But, like, I feel like I'm ahead. That's annoying. All right, so I guess we just untap, make my opponent invest mana into it. I don't think it is. Yeah, I think that's... Isn't, like... Haven't we wasted, like, three Karakses in this league? So this card is supposed to be all the rage. I'm fairly certain we can just kind of ignore it. 
because like it's got it like between this Dreaded Knight and this Liliana, they've just got so much like more things to deal with. Well, now we just kill it. This probably means a Flicker Wisp. But, like, the Flicker Wisp just died. So the Flicker Wisp effectively trades. All right, let's just, let's make him have it. Play as much. I don't think it's great. Okay, yeah, so we're going to get hit here. Okay, so we saw this coming. This thing comes back. And now we just dig for a way to answer this. I guess now I just blow up the vial. No, 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 don't blow up the vial. Do not blow up the vial. I'm going to still look for a way to kill this thing right now, though. All right, well, that wasn't it. So I guess I just ditch this. Maybe I should have. I guess I could like. There's so many things going on here. Holy shit. Can't be tutored, two more than that, that's the deck, okay. I kind of want to just put this flight strand back, thought sees them, then reevaluate. But then my street rate cycle is horrible. Yeah, let's just go like this. If we do need to draw a card, then we can just draw a card. We can roll our Liliana down here anyways. Okay, so let's get rid of this Councils. What does this Stoneforge Mystic do? They need two lands for the Council's Judgment, though the Council's Judgment, if it gets off the board, is pretty big game. They need to go runner runner, but that runner runner like is really bad for us. So I think I'm just gonna take it. And then try to slog through the Stoneforge Mystic. Oh yeah, Lily plus yeah, Lily plus thing kills that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're good. Yeah. I'd have gotten there. I need to play faster. And put explosives in my grave. Mm hmm. I don't think I'm going to draw the explosives. I think I'm just going to get a tap land. They port me. Nope. What is this? Isn't God? I feel like I'm just spinning my wheels. So this brightling just blocks forever, right? So I might as well just see if I can find a way to deal with this thing. Because if I find another dreader light, all right. So that should be that should be good. I'm going to wait on this Liliana. Yeah, we're going up with it. Like, they're going to block. Then we're going to kill it when they bounce it back. Because this takes white. They only have one white mana.
I guess Mirror and Crusader gets me here, right? That might have been loose because of Mirror and Crusader. Yeah, that was probably loose because of Mirror and Crusader. Now that I think about it, like I could just let we could just like go back and forth in Dirtle. So the Mystic's gone. They get Batter Skull. Okay. Because we still just could get got by Crusader. But like Crusader has to block. Crusader can't attack. So maybe it doesn't matter. It probably didn't matter, but I think I think I could have done better plays. I think I could have just been patient, let him just bounce his Brightling, and then just ult Liliana and not care. That probably was about just roll up my hand. Yeah. Did I have the, I thought I only had three lands that turn. I didn't if I had four lands untapped, then it was definitely a mistake. Alright, we're gonna hit this mid button. Yeah, I definitely made a mistake if they had that many lands. If I had four lands opponent up, then I then I then I messed up. Oh, we had Crusader and the Flicker Wisp beat, didn't we? No, Flicker the thing. Yeah, you're right. I kind of want to keep this hand. Because I've got like this. And I really just don't want a mulligan against this deck here. Yeah, no, it costs four. I think I'm going to keep this. I, and, like, it might be wrong to keep this, but I think I'm going to. Yeah. Like, if this is if this is not good to do, then I, I totally understand. <coughs> Definitely dazing Ethalia. So we actually kind of play around this wasteland decently. I might just ignore this wasteland. Well, the problem is if I ignore this wasteland, okay. So we're going to daze that, and I'm going to brainstorm looking for a way to kill mom. We're in trouble. Maybe I should have gotten rid of that him. Yeah, I could. I don't know if that... But I don't think wasting is that great when I'm this far behind, right? Don't play a mom. We didn't find a way to kill mom. Oh, the pump fake. Whew. How's it going, Johnny? I think I'm going to fetch. The problem is, is that I actually can't find a way to fetch here unless my opponent, because they can just wasteland me, but maybe they're not going to be interested in wastelanding me. I don't think I can afford to draw another bad card. So if they wasteland me, they wasteland me. Okay. Now we might be able to reanimate something sweet. On the interstate, are you driving or are you just chilling out? You don't want to draw that fetch after all. Yeah, that's what I think. Is this Stoneforge Mystic? Oh, Revoker? Okay. We can beat Revoker. Okay, so we got rid of two cards, which is sweet. We can even go, like, next turn if he doesn't waste me. We can go, like, him them again 
and then reanimate something, maybe like reanimate a flicker wisp to reset their vial. Like that's kind of sounds like the stones to me. Or I can just go like him death shadow, which also sounds these. If they waste me, I can go like death shadow reanimate. All right, nice. How long are you driving for tonight, Johnny? So I kind of have good plays no matter what. And no matter what my opponent does here. So I'm pretty tempted to go him. And then, okay, so now I, what is this? Sanctum prelit. That's not good. That's not good at all. I no longer have a game plan. Well, I guess we just go get their last card. So, it's just players can't cast cards with of that name. All right, so what do I have left? Well, I can't flicker it out, right? Is it enters the battlefield? Non oh, I still can play Shadow, but I can't play Reanimator. Okay. So it is at least creatures. Okay, okay, okay. I, I, I didn't even know that, to tell you the truth. Um, you named one. I guess I should have played a land so that I could just hard cast snuff out. So I think we're just going to play Drago. We're just going to play Drago until they find a Flicker Wisp. And then I'm going to die. I don't even want to play any of my lands. I guess I'll play at least land. And pass. In a rough spot. No, not even close, right? I cracked them for six. And now they kill me. They got it. Good games. Good games. All right, so hopefully we can get the last one here for the four, the four one. We're gonna get some more water. We'll be right back. So I wonder if it was better the turn I him my opponent to play those two one mana spells. Like maybe that's hindsight that's that's not good, you know? Like maybe maybe that's just me playing around something that's like doesn't make any sense. Um I'm not sure. Like him gets the last cards out of their hand. 
but I don't. And I think I think that they top. No, it doesn't get the last cards out of their hand. It got two cards out of their hand. But I guess it opens me up a lot to that. I'm not sure. Uh, I thought of that too. Um, I think I want a mulligan. There's no brainstorm. I want a mulligan too. This hand's much better. That's what I thought as well. And it's not like my hand was very good where I couldn't think that I had to extract everything that I could out of them. I don't think I want this. It's a counter spell though. I'm gonna put it on top. Might be wrong to do. Whoa. No lands for the opponent. I'm gonna hold this Street Wraith for the Preordain, just in case I want both the cards in the same turn. Yeah, it's a good six. Are you talking about the keep on top, or are you talking about the keep in general? Are you talking about from our opponent's six with no lands? Flip, Delver, flip, flip. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, I agree. Um, I still don't even think that I want, I just want to play this Delver, I think. I guess if I hit a land, I'm going to cycle this. So I do hit a land, it's so, it's really good for me. No, I guess I should, no, that was stupid. For the same reason you don't do this with Serum Visions. I should have gone Preordain, but I guess Preordain, Scry 2, then draw, so it doesn't matter. I kind of just want to play another Delver, to be honest, and attack. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. They're Apostle Man. I'm so concerned about playing the games right that I just, I, I'm not quite there yet for those little, like, those little mental, those little mental, you know, aspects of it. Like, I'll play games in Modern. I don't really think I can play games here yet. So I think I want this. So everyone that I've seen in the mirror has boarded in these surgicals against me. And I think that's awful, but like it's what everybody keeps doing. You like getting grave. I don't quite understand what that means. Tannin. And again. I don't think I want my dazes on the draw. Like, I'm tempted to just go like this. Literally, everyone always tells me to board these out on the draw, but I always, like, board these out no matter what, but I always find players that are better than I am. They always have a couple of these in. You like Lillian E. You don't like the Edict to deal with the other, because we only have, like, two ways to actually kill Death Shadow. And, like, Snuff Out's kind of medium. The him might be loose. Snuff Out does hit only Delver. So maybe Snuff Out's just like not great. So maybe if I go something like. Like, I don't know if I want all four forces in my deck. I don't know. But I kind of want to go. I'm tempted to go something like this. Or in Liliana over stuff out. Well, that makes sense. So I'm, like, I'm very tempted to try this with changing a little bit more on the play to be a little more. Oh, I only have 58 cards. I counted wrong. So I'm supposed to keep all my forces or like have days on the draw. Isn't days on the draw a sin?
literally everyone always tells me to board my forces out, but like every single time I watch like Sukenic play at the Pro Tour, I watch people play on the SCG Tour, or I play against players that are better than I am, they have forces on the draw. They have forces in their deck of the sideboard. I don't know how many of them. Isn't Days off on the draw? Whatever. Let's go like this. Tell you Twitch chat. We're gonna go like this. Like every time I feel like I'm getting my teeth kicked in, in these Delver mirrors, the people have force. Oh, that makes sense. With shadow in there, account. Okay, I get that. Um, I guess we're gonna keep this. You gotta waste their lands, then surgical them. You figured it out, dude. God, imagine how much worse my opponent's deck would operate if they only had Underground Sea versus my Watery Graves. We're gonna get the old turn one re. I'm gonna reanimate the shit out of that if they don't do it. This card's like truly nemesis. Yeah. Pure magic. And then next time I'm gonna probably go get underground C and play two Delvers. We're just reanimating street rates over here. <laughs> God, I hope they just scoop it up. They can't block this. This is literally, I mean, like. Death Shadow can overcome this, but you can't block this thing. You can't kill it. Right, I'm going to get in there and then go get Underground Sea and play a Delver. And one basic. Why the why why would we play a basic? Something that I was interested in, and it's probably wrong to do. Oh, that Delver didn't flip, that's so big. Is that I'm excited to try something like and it's probably wrong, but I, I want to try like a green version with Sylvan Library. I'm like tempted to trade because we have more Delver. But I guess I'm going to have that option later. So I, I, we're just not going to trade. Yeah, I think that that seems narrow. We're getting cheaty with path. All right, million dollar question. Do we force this bad boy? The problem is if this thing comes through here, then it kind of invalidates our clock. So I'm tempted to just force this bad boy here. That runs us into so much bad stuff, though. I guess we can, we have like Delvers we can chump with if we need to. Now, do I? Oh, maybe I should have brainstormed there. Yeah, that was stupid. Maybe I should have. I don't know. So let's cycle this. I should have thought about that more. So let's try this out. We got to find something here. God. That was tough. Um, so I guess I just attack with Street Wraith. Hold this back. Chump here. Maybe I'm blocking with Street Wraith.
Sure, we have surgical shuffle. I wish they were at nine. And we were at 10. Problem is I have to chump this shadow next turn, like regardless of what I do. So I need these Delvers to like not flip for like three turns. Maybe I should have forced the Delver or forced this shadow. Because this thing just makes all like everything else just so annoying. I don't think we're winning by not attacking. I don't really think we're winning attacking either. So here's what we're going to do. No, that doesn't even do it. Six. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to attack. That puts us to one, though. Shit. We can't even, like, fight back over a force. Yeah, we're just going to, like, hope these Delvers don't flip, basically. We're going to hope these Delvers don't flip, and we're going to hope our opponent doesn't have anything. I wish we had one more life total. <coughs> or have, have we one more life point? Entrancing Melody. So now these Delvers flip. We deal six. We push here. We're just dead. Yep. I think, I wonder if I made, I probably made some mistakes there. So now I want more daisies on the play. Maybe I don't want any forces. Let's try this. Let's cut our forces on the play. Let's try to get them with days. Yeah, I, I support that. I don't understand why people want to cut all their forces on the draw. All right, I would like to play first. I would like to mulligan. All right, we'll keep this. This thing's okay. This sucks being down a card. I don't think I want this. I've already got eight days. Like, Thought sees them hit a cantrip. Yeah, I don't think I want this. Let's get a little more information. All right. Change things up. I was going to maybe lead on the uh, Underground C to be able to have a better brainstorm next turn, but. I think, I guess I could have played slowly. They still have snuff out. Okay, so let's take their thoughts. That seems like kind of a loose keep. Like this hand's basically what we mulliganed, right? No, no, we mulliganed like no lands. Okay, never mind. I'm going to daze the shit out of this ponder. Oh, they, oh, yeah, we knew they had that wasteland. Okay. I'm still going to daze the shit out of their ponder. Yeah, for sure. We're going to float a mana two and brainstorm so we can cast Gurmag Angler. So I know four out of their five cards. This is kind of like a loose brainstorm, but I think I'm just going to do it in order to make sure we can, we can get nasty next turn. All right, don't daze me, bro. 
It'll be the, the days will be the last card we don't know about. Ooh, he have a force. Okay. So he pitched Ponder. So his hand is snuff out three land, two lands. So we're drawing a Liliana. So let's brainstorm and look for something here. Okay, so let's hide this reanimate. Let's go like this and this. And I guess we waste them. There's plenty more of that where that's coming, bud. Yeah, I don't think taking Ponder was a, was a good thing to do, especially... I guess, like, if we take Ponder, they're more guaranteed two Thought Seeds, so that makes sense. What is this? Death Shadow, okay. Get this into play. If they daze me, I'll pay for it. We know they have snuff out X, so now let's get rid of this land. And then we're going to play a shadow and wasteland them again. Would have stranded their force also. Something that's nice is that even if we... Okay, so now this thing's getting bigger. So now I don't even know if we can attack. Reanimate Delver. Okay. So now our shadows trade in combat. So now I'm just going to block because their last card snuff out. And then I'm going to play my own Death Shadow. Oh, they can snuff out their own thing. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Now I'm so dead. I didn't even think about that line. Yeah, I just got wrecked there because now my shadow has to chump their shadow. We have one draw step. Oh, yeah, I did not even think about that. Yeah, that just went right over my head there, snuffing out his own Delver. Stream got stuffed out for sure. Oh, that was so bad. All right, looks like we're back now. That was just that was just went right over my head. I haven't seen that interaction yet. You know, I didn't think about snuffing out your own creature. Whoa, he didn't have a land to fetch? Or is he just going to push? Oh, that works too. So 
So now we basically need like Fatal Push. Wow. We're still in it, ladies and gentlemen. Even after a colossal punt. <laughs> no justice. Into Street Wraith. Oh my god. Come on. Mm. I don't think I keep any of these. Right? Because it's, it's like, what am I dazing for two mana next turn? Like, cantrip into something? And then, like, brainstorm's okay, but I only see two more cards versus seeing another one. And I see another new one next turn, so let's just shuffle this. All right. There's a critter. You would have died. Oh, I would have died if I didn't block. I wouldn't have died, right? Oh, I guess one good hit deserves another. Come on. Oh, baby. All right. Come on. Come on. I totally don't deserve this. Would I have died if he'd done that? He'd taken four damage and shocked himself. I guess I would have. My opponent says GG's. All right, no justice. No justice. <laughs> All right, I think we've... I think we're going to do modern now. I think we've run out, run out of our luck when it comes to legacy. So let me just turn 